Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Alexandria and thank you for coming in and watching this video today. This is my first video here on YouTube and let me tell you, I am so ecstatic. Um, I feel nothing but blessed um, being able to do something like this. So, thank you. <laughs> so, um, today I'm giving you guys an everyday makeup routine. This is something that I do when I'm going to, you know, to the store, run some errands, pop up on my man, you feel me? <laughs> Um, so if you like this look, then please keep watching. Hey everyone. So first I'm starting off with my eyebrows. I'm using the Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow Long Wear Pomade in the shade Walnut. Now, let me tell y'all something about this pomade. Okay, this stuff is freaking pigmented. As you can see on here, I'm like, mm-mm. Mm -mm, sis okay you gonna need to fix that up because you was looking a hot mess so when I went to clean those brows up I used the Beckama, Becca ultimate coverage concealer cream in the shade treckle now I do know that this concealer is discontinued so I will have an alternate concealer to um, conceal your brows down in the description bar below. Matter of fact, I'll have all of the products that I use in this video down in the description bar below. So please check that out to see all of the product details that I'm using for this video. So right now, I'm just making sure they look like sisters, that they look semi-alike somehow, some type of way. So to prime my lids for my eyeshadow, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande. And I let it sit there so it can get a little tacky. Then to prime my skin, I use the Farsali Unicorn Essence. Now, this stuff is kind of different. You know, it's not your regular silicone primer or your regular, you know cream primer this is something that's like super tacky yet super lightweight that keeps my makeup on all day and one thing is i have super 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 oily skin so anything that can help me stick my foundation onto my face and don't go anywhere i am definitely appreciative of next i am going in with the urban decay naked heat palette and i'm starting off with the shade and fuego and i'm just putting that all into my crease feeling myself dancing listening to music <laughs> and then i'm going in with the shade ashes in my outer corner just blending things out um making sure it looks seamless and then i go with the shade amber just on my finger and put it on the lid and blend it out um sometimes i use a brush you know spray some fix plus on there sometimes i use my finger it really just depends on how i feel i just make sure i keep some wipes here on the side to wipe out my finger um and then after that i'm just making sure everything blends good together you know you want a seamless eyeshadow look nothing that looks patchy nothing that looks choppy you just want everything to look blended and smooth and like yes i'm here look at my eyes i'm flawless <laughs> uh no but for real i y'all know what i'm talking about okay then next i'm going in with the nars natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade new caledonia y'all this foundation is amazing so i have oily skin and like I said, I need something that's going to last all day. But you know, this foundation lasts all day, but it doesn't give you the dry, cakey, super matte, I'm sucking the life out of your skin <laughs> type of finish. It's exactly what it says. It's natural. It's radiant. It's long wearing. It's all that. Okay. Um, and I love it. I seriously love it. Now, going in with two more products from NARS you know they're concealers so it's basically one product 
first I'm going in the shade Amand Day again. And then on top of that, I'm going in the shade Walnut. Now I know on camera it looks very yellow, orange, mustardy, which it kind of is, but it counteracts the darkness that I have going on around my eye and it definitely brings some brightness to my face. I'm putting the concealer onto the high points um, on my face where I want to be highlighted and you know just have the center of my face be the main focal point on my face <laughs> you know what I mean um so then after that I'm just you know blending everything out then I go back to my foundation brush to basically merge the two shades together so you don't get that big line of demarcation of okay I have a brighter concealer okay I have a foundation that's the shade of my skin you know I just want to have everything look seamless seamless is the word or seamless and blended is the word you know you want to look like one one person not one person with three different shades on their face after I blend it out everything on my face I then go in with the Marc Jacobs invisible finish line perfecting coconut setting powder wow that was a mouthful so first i don't bake anything like you know how you normally see people they go in with a bunch of powder and they throw it underneath their eyes i don't do that first i actually just set it and then after i set it that's when i start doing the baking I slap all that stuff underneath there because, you know, what the powder is going to do is going to ensure that my foundation, my concealer, my entire base just stays on my face for as long as I needed to. Of course, giving um, a few touch ups here and there, but, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. So, yeah, guys, don't mind me making these faces <laughs> um, with this baking powder on. So, while I let my baking powder set, I then go in with the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder in the shade 185 Neutral Ebony. Now, this is a good powder to set your makeup, well, the rest of your makeup, the outside perimeter. Um, and then it's a good one to blend in with that baking powder that you left on your face. Next, I go in with this Garlon Terracotta Bronzing Powder. This stuff is bomb, and I have it in the shade 09 and Tense. This bronzer is Moranita friendly. This is Dark Skin Girl friendly. This is what every company needs to do as far as bronzers. Next, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso. So I'm just using this contour stick to, you know, contour my face. I'm starting off with the nose, blending it out. You know, some days nose contour is just a hit or miss. Some days it's good, some days it's bad. Other days it's looking like, why did you do that? And why didn't someone tell you sooner? <laughs> But um, today, I think it's I. <laughs> you know, it ain't all that. It's I. Um, to blend it out on my face, I'm just using this dual fiber brush. Y'all, I really apologize for my speech. I have these braces in my mouth, and I am still trying to get these things under wrap. You know, it is really hard trying to speak with these braces, but... It's all for the greater good, you know? So I'm just continuing blending everything in, <laughs> dancing as usual, <laughs> nothing new. So next, I will be going in with my highlighter. And for my highlighter, I am using the Bobbi Brown Sunkissed Glow. I'm pretty sure this is another one that is discontinued, um, but I also will leave some other highlighters down in the description bar. So make sure you guys check that out um, of all the lists of the items I use and alternative options as well. So I'm just applying this highlighter all over my face where I want to look glowy and live from within as if, 
you know, this foundation didn't already do that already. So just to finish up the eyes, I'm going back into that Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette with the shade Ashes and just going underneath my lash line and um, smudging everything out. I didn't use any liner or anything like that. I just want everything to look as natural as possible. Going back in with that Bobbi Brown highlighter in my inner corner, um, just making everything look unison. So I got highlight on my face. Highlight on the top of my brow highlight on my inner corner. Everything just looks in unison Of course, I need like 50,000 sprays of fix plus guys fix plus is like the cure of all dryness cure of all cakey powdery look <laughs> for real so um, next I'm just curling my lashes with this Lily lashes eyelash curler now I didn't go for lashes today only because, you know, this is every day. So every day I am not wearing lashes. Every day I am in and out trying to get my makeup done. I ain't got time to sit up here away from no glue to dry to do my lashes. Not for my everyday makeup routine. <laughs> so to put on my mascara, I am testing out this Milk Kush Mascara. Uh, it's all right. I mean, you know, it's mascara. You can't really go wrong with mascara. If it gives you volume, if it gives you length, it's a pretty decent mascara. But my all-time favorite would always be the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And to finish it, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Pitch. This is a great lip liner. And then I'm topping it off with the Fenty Beauty Gloss in Fenty Glow. And guys, that completes it. That is my everyday makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Hit the notification bell. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.